Hello, welcome to uh, top10androidapps.org, that's top 10 androidapps.org Today we're going to be looking at the Dolphin HD browser. Now, uh, the browsers that normally come with the Android phones are fairly default. You get the sort of default internet browser that's on the phone. Or even if you try um, something like Opera, um, which traditionally works well on mobile uh, platforms, you'll find that they're basically, you know, adaptations or slight tweaks of existing uh, browsers. The thing about the Dolphin HD browser is the Dolphin HD browser has been built from the ground up specifically for the Android phone. So it takes on board the fact that with touch phones you're going to be swiping with your fingers. Um, it's much more tactile. It tries to offer you a similar experience as you would get on the computer. Um, so for instance straight away um, you'll notice the difference with um, Dolphin HD. So here we are, here's the little icon, you can see it in the corner, Dolphin HD, but we'll just take you there. Um, now straight away if I just scroll down here you'll see that uh, unlike other browsers this is the first um, Android browser that offers you uh, different sets of tabs you see um, uh, at the top so you can have a sort of multi tabs on your browser like you would um, say with Chrome or anything um, uh, similar to that on a PC. Um, in addition, if you just slide it there to the right, you've got uh, you can keep all your bookmarks for easy access. Um, and then if you sw slide it to the uh, left that way, the other way, uh, down here it's got little apps. So you've got apps that, um, like you would have Chrome apps, you have little Dolphin HD um, apps. So I've got one here which is called um, Read Later, and you can um, basically it stores it a bit like a bookmark so you can um, read it later we'll just go back and the other one um, if I find a nice interesting story there we are top 10 Android apps um, I've installed a little um, there are tweet now and it shortens it straightforward it links it with my uh, tweet account and I can post that um, straight away um, so there are loads of, sort of uh, little little apps as well that you can get um, to plug in little plugins, not really apps, are they? They're plugins. Um, and if you just click down there at the bottom on that little cog, you will see um, little um, add ons that you can buy for it, and you can search add ons as you would um, in anything that has little sort of plugins on it. So that's really cool. Different themes as well, you can search for different themes and buy different themes. Um, if you you know want to sort of personalize the, the whole look, I have mine on them. Um, the default look as you can see. Now the other great thing and one that I think really utilizes the fact that this is um, uses your finger is you can use finger swipes to um, do things so it's got some programmed in already so for instance if I um, want to go back I just do a little arrow like oh, uh, I click on that thing in the corner do a little arrow and um, it should come up and say back you see back there and then it will go back to the previous page. Um, I don't know if you saw what I did. In the corner here, probably too bright, but in the corner is little hand symbol. And you click on that there, press that, and if I want to go like that way, forward. Um, or for instance, if, I, um, if I'm just going to go to a different tab here, for instance, um, I can refresh just by going like, oop, touch the hand symbol and then go like that and it should recognize that gesture, there we are, it says refresh, recognize that. Now this is really cool I think and the beauty as well is that you can also um, program, program in. So if you press the little hand symbol in the corner, oh I've lost my browser, one second, go back. Um, you also get a little cog in this side and you can program things in. Now I've programmed some in already so for instance uh, a shortcut for the BBC site which I go to a lot so I draw a little B um, and there we are you can program it to go to um, specific websites just by um, um, a hand stroke. So um, there you go. This it's got all the um, you know great little features that other browsers haven't gone. It's got your normal um, tap and zoom. I mean the BBC sites 
um, loads well for the phone anyway. It's got the multi-touch, um, you know, pinch and zoom approach, um, like that. So it's got all those, lots of add-ons. I mean, I think um, it's quite fast as well. So I think of all the browsers that I've kind of seen, um, this is the most powerful for a, a, an Android phone, uh, particularly the fact that it's got um, multi-tab browsing, you can have a number of tabs open, it's got, um, as I said, these great set of plugins that you can get uh, if you want to, you know, add plugins or theme it, um, ease of access to these, um, you know, bookmarks that you can easily add to and scroll through there, and of course, uh, this great feature for um, swiping, so there I'm a little arrow that says back, that you can actually program in um, swipes, um, and it renders really well, um, and looks really cool, uh, and I highly recommend, um, once you have this browser uh, on your Android phone, quite frankly, you're going to wonder what you were doing with the, the other browsers, so this is definitely one of my top 10 Android apps, um, and it's the Dolphin HD browser, and you should be able to find it on the Android Marketplace, so just look for Dolphin HD, um, and it should be there. Um, so that's uh, all for now, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, review of the Dolphin HD browser and remember keep checking out top10androidapps.org for all the latest news, views and reviews of all things that are Android. Uh, until then um, I'll catch you later. Bye.